springing to a Chinese winter, a midsummer night's dream. Queensland Ballet on stage at Beijing's National Center for Performing Arts on the third leg of their 16-day tour of China. They're led by artistic director Li Sunxin, who defected from China as a young dancer in 1981. During this visit, he says he's returned as a cultural diplomat. It is so important to foster and further the relationships of two countries. The company's tour includes four major Chinese cities, their most important stop, the capital. Bring my own company here is very emotional, as though like when you, as, as a child, uh, left home and then you brought your children back to meet uh, their grandparents. Uh, there are so many memories f flooding back for me. Memories relived when Lee visited a local ballet school. Like these young students, it was also in a ballet school in Beijing where Li Sunxin began his ballet career, albeit under very different conditions. Li endured grueling daily nine-hour lessons as a young student at Beijing's Dance Academy. His story was dramatized in the movie Mao's Last Dancer, a film which inspired Chinese company member Wu Zi, who idolized Li as a boy. Wu Zi is one of two Queensland ballet artists returning home for the tour. But for most, it's their first time performing in China, including soloist Mia Heathcote, whose parents toured China with the Australian ballet in the 1980s. It's quite amazing that it's sort of come full circle um, and that I'm here now. And I feel like being in China is like being in a different world almost. It's, it's quite amazing from different worlds, but speaking the universal language of dance, says Lee. Arts really has no political agenda, no boundaries. The Queensland Ballet's tour of China ends this Sunday. In Beijing, Katrina Yu, SBS World News.